In my previous videos, I have shared about the principal operation of EGR and including the water treatment system. But this time, I'll be sharing a compact. Welcome to Chibuayat. In this channel, we are mainly sharing technical information that guides our fellow seafarers. The dirty technology is still a very interesting topic for many separators, particularly for the engineers. These are the technologies that reduces the emission of NOx into the atmosphere. Actually, I have made several videos about these technologies for uh, main engine ECR, main engine EGR, as well as for the ECR of the, uh, generator engine. If you want to watch those videos, please visit my YouTube channel, Chip Boyet. And if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. This time, I'll be sharing about the high-pressure EGR of Mitsui, Makita, and Hitachi Man BMW. So, in principle, uh, these three EGRs are the same. So, this time, I'll be sharing in more simplified way in order for you to easily understand. So, if you will watch this video until the end, you will understand the principle of these EGRs for three uh, engines for Mitsui Man BMW, Makita Man, Man BMW, and Hitachi Man BMW. So the high pressure EGR has a two types: the bypass matching and the turbocharger cutout matching. The bypass matching is normally fitted or installed for the engine having a cylinder bore of less than 70 cm. While for the turbocharger cutout matching, uh, normally fitted for the engine having a cylinder bore of more than 70 cm or having a turbo uh, two turbocharger. And take note, all of these high pressure EGR of Mitsui, Makita, and Man BMW, they're all designed for LSMGO. And they are all designed to start only in auto operation. Let's discuss the gas flow. When the engine operation has shifted to tier 3, the EGB or the excess gas bypass valve automatically close. About 30 to 40% of the excess gas will pass through the SOV or shadow valve, then will pass through the pre spray. At this stage, the excess gas or the EGR gas is being pre cold and pre cleaned. According to the engine maker, about 15% of the water being sprayed in the pre spray nozzle evaporates due to high temperature of excess gas or EGR gas. Then, the gas will pass through the EGR cooler, where the cooling and cleaning continues using the so-called process water. Then, after, the gas will pass through the mist catcher, where the gas and the liquid separates. The gas will be sucked by the EGR blower into mixing chamber where the first air from the turbocharger and the EGR gas mix to partially displace or to lower the oxygen concentration down to about 17 to 19 percent. The reduce in oxygen concentration reduce the speed of combustion. That when the speed of combustion is reduced, the peak temperature will be reduced. Thereby, the NOx formation is reduced to meet or to comply with the NOx regulation. For better explanation about NOx formation, please visit my YouTube channel, Chip Boyet. Okay, the EGR blower is controlled by a frequency inverter, depending on the oxygen concentration. When the oxygen concentration is getting lower, the speed of EGR blower motor will be decreased to reduce the flow or supply of the EGR gas. That when the oxygen concentration is getting higher, the EGR blower motor will speed up. To increase the volume of EGR gas to partially displace or lower the oxygen to the set point. At normal operation, the BTV or the blower throttle valve is fully open. But when the EGR blower reaches the minimum load of about 40% of the motor capacity, it is the lowest speed adjustment of the motor. Then, only that's the time the BTV actuates. 
to control or reduce the flow or volume of the EGR gas into the mixing chamber. We know that the turbocharger is driven by the exhaust gas pressure from the engine. So when the EGR runs, about 30 to 40 percent of the exhaust gas is being directed to the EGR line. Theoretically, the turbocharger speed in performance will also reduce to about 30 to 40 percent. However, that is the purpose of CBB or cylinder bypass valve. The CBB open to compensate the 30 to 40 percent of excess gas that is being recirculated. The CBB actuation depends on the scavenging air pressure. It was preset by the engine maker during the shaft trial. Let's proceed to the water circulation. The circulating water in the EGR system is called a process water. In the water miscatcher, the water and gas separates. The water will go to the process water receiving tank. The process water circulation pump delivers the water into two lines. One is the line directly to the pre-spray nozzle and the EGR cooler nozzle. And the other line is going to the buffer tank. The water from the buffer tank is being sucked by the treated water supply pump supplying water to the pre-spray nozzle and the EGR cooler nozzle and the cycle repeats when times that there is much condensation the water level in the system increase the excess water will overflow to EGR drain tank in dry season wherein the condensation is very minimal considering the sprayed process water in the pre-spray nozzle is evaporated of about 15% the circulated process water may decrease. The water level will be determined in the buffer tank. That when the level gets lower, before reaching the minimum limit or the minimum level, the fresh water supply valve will automatically open to fill up fresh water to the buffer tank. When the socks of excess gas or EGR gas touches the water during the pre-spray, it reacts and dissolves in form into sulfuric acid. To neutralize the sulfuric acid, the Mitsui, Makita, and Hitachi Man BMW EGR uses NaOH or commonly called caustic soda. It is a highly alkaline and has the ability to neutralize the acid. Meaning, the only purpose of NaOH in the system is just to neutralize and prevent the accumulation of sulfuric acid in the system. It is being monitored by the pH sensor that when the pH value becomes lower than 6.5 ppm, the NaOH dosing pump starts until reaching the set value of 6.5 ppm. The water treatment system handles the excess water from the EGR drain tank, the water that overflows from the buffer tank. The water treatment system composed of separator, filter, all monitor and control panel. This system cleans the surplus or excess process water and it discharges directly overboard. The discharged water is called bleed off water. Only the water having an oil content of less than 15 ppm is being discharged directly overboard. But while for the water having an oil content of more than 15 ppm, the overboard valve for bleed off will close and the valve going to EGR drain tank will open, meaning the water will be redirected to EGR drain tank. The residue from the cleaning process are discharged to the EGR dirty water tank and it has only to be discharged through shore facility disposal, nothing else. Take note, when the level of dirty water in the tank reaches the high level alarm, the EGR system stop. The surplus water is being injected with fluculant by fluculant dosing pump. The fluculant aggregates small particles or oils and soot into larger and heavier flux for easier removal at the separator. The dosing adjustment of fluculant depends on the result of the surplus water analysis. It is recommended to carry out the test before running the EGR. Knowledge of the engineer on this part is very important because they will be the one to decide the correct dosing base on their analysis. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless us all!